brick addicts, Lego lovers, friends from all over the world. Today, we've got what is possibly one of the most detailed Lego sets ever created. Stick around for the Home Depot. There's going to be uh, some surprise announcements during this video, so be sure to watch the whole thing. So over here on the left, we've got some exterior signage, stuff like that. Fencing. Yep, 989 bucks. I'm assuming that's to do your whole entire yard. If you get with this one or this one, you're going to save almost a thousand bucks. <laughs> All right, we got Rocky Garden, the... Uh, fence in the grill there, and uh, Zabadak, Brad Nevin, and me, Brick Addict, so we've got some uh, awesome signage, stuff like that on the front, enter, exit, unlike anything we've ever done, these have actual side entry doors, like so, so that is the entrance, and of course, tons of details, snapper lawnmower, some bricks there, blocks, masonry bricks, and everything has a brand on it. And that flower pot, you've got a Milwaukee wheelbarrow. Oh, what's going on over here? Daryl from Bevan Bricks and Dr. McBricker hanging out, watching the work being done. So we got a guy in a forklift who apparently just uh, dropped off a pallet of wood which this Home Depot employee is moving into the store. A little custom pallet jack there, Home Depot colors. So, the outside contractor section, of course, alludes to the fact that maybe there's home services and rental inside. We'll leave this forklift driver uh, to drink his Sprite and finish his work. We're gonna go the contractor entrance. First thing we come to is the rental section. Rental section's got some books back behind the guy. And that is Tom. So Tom is our Home Depot rental professional. And looks like they've got a bit of cash. So got a pretty detailed sign as well. Lots of cabinets, stuff like that. And as we swing around here in a few minutes, you'll get a look at the uh, Pepsi machine and stuff from a different angle. So let's check out housekeeping and plumbing. You enter housekeeping and plumbing with a display of a hot water heater. And then of course, DeWalt. We got uh, actually the very first thing we built Couple months ago for this set was the uh, bathroom and kitchen displays. Those were built on a separate plate and we decided to stick them in here. So we took them off the plate and built it inside here. Of course you've got all kinds of stickering right there. Housekeeping section has a little bit of everything. Everything has prices on it as you can see there at the bottom. So Tide, Bounty, Clorox.
some all and uh, Clorox, stuff like that, and a pipe. So if you see a pipe, that means one thing, you must be getting close to the plumbing. That Pepsi machine, pretty cool. And now we'll move over and check out the plumbing. You've got quite a plethora of faucets right there and plumbing parts. You got chrome and looks like uh, plastic. Decent prices, eight some bucks and 21 bucks. Assuming maybe 21 bucks for the faucets. Right next to that is lumber, but let's take a peek up here first. Just adjacent to checkout lane number one, which is also the rental. You've got all Snuggy and kind of a beat up DeWalt box. Um, lots of tools, a dolly, shovel. Got a map of the place on the wall. Looks like maybe a thermostat control. Some more signs there, signage, decor. And you come to the lumber. Some of it is a little bit overpriced. And this customer here, looks like she is getting a box of Clorox and a ceiling fan. The next department we come to in the Home Depot is appliances. And what you see here is actually what this whole entire set's scale was based off of. We had to make a decision on the size we were going to do the washers, dryers, stoves, and stuff like that in, in order to decide the scale for this whole entire place. So that's a pretty good price on that fridge, $9.89. You got the uh, energy guide up there, Energy Star certified. Got a microwave sitting up there. We, uh, we went pretty uh, heavy on the wall decor here. Some stoves over there. A couple of them look like they need wiped down. Microwaves, washer dryer combos there too. And uh, even on this side, you got some, uh, got a stove and a washer dryer combo with a microwave sitting on top. All right, this customer right here is getting Looks like a, a DeWalt drill, a five gallon jug of paint. Got lots of tools at Home Depot, of course. So I've got a couple table saws there. And uh, in fact, let's see. Uh, is that Aaron, I believe? Yes, Aaron. Aaron is our appliance manager. And she's showing off the appliances or the uh, the table saws rather to this very interested customer and it looks like instead of getting a DeWalt product he is actually getting a Milwaukee circular saw a pack of light bulbs uh, let's see pry bar and a drill he's got a drill there which brings us to what's behind him the section with ceiling fans and kind of a little everything. So you got some nails there, a couple boxes of ceiling fans. In fact, that one there looks like a nice one. Hunter, got a couple wet floor signs and a couple fire extinguishers. And here's a fun little tidbit. When we first started designing this set, we had these. These were going to be the washer dryer combo. This was going to be a uh, washer dryer, whatever. Bathtub and freezer style refrigerator, whatever. Those were going to be the sizes. And then, you know, we got to thinking, hmm, we want to be different. Tell me below. What do you think? Did we make the right choice? Be sure to check out our upcoming Best Buy store when it comes out, which is going to be in a few weeks. Signage, of course, highlights everything in the store. And uh, right here you've got the, um, 
main row end. I can't remember what that's called right offhand, but it's got some light bulbs, a little bit of everything. And of course, you've got a little uh, store display right there for Dewalt. So let's pan over here. This is the actual lighting section, which has, of course, a huge selection of lights. And that's a pretty good price on those, $8.93. And this particular customer, he's got a variety. He's getting a crowbar. And, uh, went in detail on uh, even those fluorescent light bulbs. Looks like the line's starting to form right there. Let's check out painting. Painting section's got lots of gallon jugs, pints, things like that. Tons of bear paint, Rust-Oleum, a bunch of spray cans, even has a uh, color palette there. And of course you get some rollers. They've even got Dixie cups. All right, just next to that, we've got the carpet section. What Home Depot is going to be complete without carpet, right? You come in, you tell them which one you want, they cut it for you. And of course on the wall, a big rug hanging there for... <laughs> $8.93. And below that, you've got some uh, samples. Right in front of that, we've got filters, signage, and some more little carpet uh, rugs, area rugs. As we go to this side, the side that that customer is on, you've got a chainsaw sitting out there on display. Got uh, probably the type of uh, carpet samples you take home and test and compare with uh, with your house right there. And then below that, you've got tiles. Next to that, you've got the door section. What a uh, huge drastic difference in prices. Almost a thousand bucks. Must be a huge sale. Next to that, we've got DeWalt Heaven. If you like tools, you're at the right place and uh, lots of DeWalt boxes. So we do have a lot of uh, tools out in the Home Depot on display, but for those that aren't, there they are in the box. Most of these tools, of course, 2162. You got one there that's 893 and one that's almost a thousand bucks. Huge difference, must be a good one. And uh, of course, a ladder. One little lonely ladder. And tools, it is tool heaven. Decent prices. So you've got some box tools there on the bottom, DeWalt and uh, Milwaukee. And then a little bit of everything. Looks like maybe a pressure washer head on that uh, row down. Um, a drill, a Sawzall perhaps with a circular cutter. Couple more drills, a hammer, a wrench, and a crescent. And then over here, it's just Toll City. There's a guy in a wheelchair. He's got a service dog with him, giving him a bone. And uh, I would imagine a service dog's probably helping him pick out which tools to get. Got a Milwaukee tool chest with a light in the back there. Uh, he's checking out tools and chains, rope, chains, hoist, a little bit of everything. And in the center, the orange area, got a couple more lawnmowers, got uh, an air compressor. Actually, we got two air compressors. So we've got a big air compressor, we've got a mini, which we'll check out from the other side. We've got a uh, wheelbarrow as well. Go this way. One of my favorite sections of this whole store is the checkout. Absolutely love the checkout. And Sharon fell down, so I'm going to place her back there. Sharon is purchasing a ton of light bulbs. Looks like she's got some fluorescent bulbs in the box. She's got some actual bulbs she's getting. 
and maybe a soul zone. Oh, and she's on her phone and has money out. He's holding some money. And let's see, what's this person getting over here? This guy in the red cap is getting, looks like a couple pieces of wood, a Dewalt saw and a box of nails. Who knows, maybe he'll grab a Coke there while he's at it. So on our wall, in front of the wall there, we've got uh, a Snapper Pro riding tractor. Home Depot Pro Service, nobody beats our prices. Got some advertisements up there, and of course, Employee of the Month, which is Amy. Amy is the Employee of the Month here at the Lego Home Depot. On this corner, you've got the Ohio Department of Labor poster. Had to pay a little homage to Maersk and to Lego. A wanted poster featuring yours truly on it. The thermostat. So even though we say this is the completed version, it's not. We're actually going to go bigger with it. We were just so anxious to get something out there to show you guys the progress so far. And we've got a couple things that's going to be going on with this which would be a home and garden section which will be coming soon and i'm not sure whether that's going to go on this side or that side likely this side here and we're going to put uh, a roof on it now the roof is also going to include the pillars here and a huge awning section so this whole section is going to be tiled and it's also going to be set up like a real Home Depot. In fact, basically when the roof is on it and when we build the roof, which has already been started, it's got a section that comes out like an awning, an overhang, that's exactly like a real Home Depot. So, and we've got it coming out actually a little further than this and it takes up this whole area. It's a little bit higher and um, looks pretty cool. It's looking good so far. So, so when that is done, that is when we will be able to officially say that this set is 100% completed. So many people build amazing things out of Lego and we just figured we'd be different. We figured we would uh, put easily over five, 600 stickers on this thing and uh, make it come to life. Make it magical. Hey, it looks like both those uh, cashiers have money. Sweet. All right, everybody. I appreciate you watching so much. You just have no idea. We really hope you like the set. We really hope you like the video. And if you're not subscribed, please click down there and subscribe. If you like highly detailed Lego sets, almost as detailed as this one, please click over there. If you like behind the scenes stuff, click up there. We got some uh, pretty entertaining videos. Thanks again for watching and we will see all of you next time once the roof is done right here on Brick Addict.